We have even more British tanks coming into this game and we have even more information about upcoming Battle Pass Season 3, ladies and gentlemen, my friends. What is going on? Welcome back to yet another World of Tanks news episode. Boom! Eminem doesn't have anything to put against me. <laughs> anyway, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some very exciting episodes to talk about, so let's dive right into it and let's start with uh, one of the upcoming... British medium tanks. Uh, one of the upcoming British tanks which most likely is going to be a medium tank called Cobra. Very awesome name if this tank comes into the game and is being called Cobra it might have the coolest name in this game in my opinion at least. But today we can take a look at some very early leaks about this vehicle. Leaks so early that I was actually waiting for over a week to get some more information about this vehicle. Maybe some details, maybe some more pictures about you guys have simply been bombarding me with questions have you heard about this tank have you seen this article have, do you know anything else so i decided to do that now let's go now according to the whatexpress.info a new cobra tank will be introduced to world of tanks soon in the last micro batch in the game files the store icon of the new cobra tank technical name uh, CB106 cobra was found however the model itself was not delivered in the photo, the post you can see the tank itself in HD quality. So this is the only picture we actually have about Cobra. It looks, uh, well, it looks kinda special, to be honest with you. Something like we do not have in this game before. So this is how the Cobra looks like. And yes, indeed, this vehicle already has its own HD quality. So definitely Wargaming, uh, Wargaming's tank development department has been working on this vehicle because we have had so many tanks in this game, so many previous tanks in this game, uh, when we receive first information, even without having the HD quality, you know, not colored uh, like uh, super rough edges and so on. But this one actually already has its own HD quality model already. And uh, once again, according to the whatexpress.info, Cobra Invert of Tanks will be British medium tech, either tier 8 premium or tier 9 promotional. Most likely still the first, says Watt Express. Also, the author of the find, Daily Bounce from EU, believes that in 2021 we will expand in the UK 3 by a new branch, in addition to the previous known British LTs. Okay, very interesting. So let's head into the todaylabounce.net blog and let's see what they have to say, what more they have to say. Shout out to the Harkonnen, by the way. All the links are in the description as always. So here we have this article where tanks uh, will see some brand new British tanks introduced soon. So as we were able to see from the previous article uh, over here, they believe that uh, more British tanks are going to be introduced into the tech tree as well. But for now, we can confirm that the brand new premium medium tank is incoming Cobra. So they, they guess it is going to be a premium tank. Okay, so let's quickly read what we can expect from this vehicle. A set of criteria were set by the British School of Tank Techno Technology to design a new medium tank. And work on the Cobra started in November 1954. The criteria specified that weight was not to exceed 36 tons and have a stabilized uh, gun that could penetrate 150 millimeters of armor at 60 degrees at distance of 1.8 kilometers. Additionally, the vehicle should be well protected with armor no less than 120 mm at 60 degrees and the crew would have to be three men with the commander doubling as the loader. Alright, due to the limitations of uh, normal ammunition used at the time and the requirement to penetrate 150 mm of armor, it was decided that 120 mm QF gun would be used with heat rounds as its main offensive ammunition. Hesh as secondary and AG as third most likely. So Hesh is going to be premium, I guess, or maybe heat premium. I uh, will see. Uh, mounted in an oscillating turret. The main gun depression would be minus 10 degrees, gun elevation plus 20 degrees. Very nice gun depression angles and gun elevation angle. The turret armor was 120 millimeters at 60 degrees uh, in the front and curved compound angle in excess of 300 millimeters in some places. This would result in a spaced layer between the two plates offering up to 600 millimeters of effective armor. Okay, well for a tier 8 vehicle this is definitely way too much, but 
I guess we can theorize about that. <clears throat> the vehicle would also be equipped with an autoloader with a capacity of six rounds per minute, ladies and gentlemen. How does auto-loading British tank with hash rounds sound to you? Very, 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 very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. If it is going to have a six-round auto-loader, because um, I don't understand quite the 100% the vehicle would also be equipped with an auto-loader with a capacity of six rounds. Per minute so is it just six rounds per minute and like three rounds 30 second reload time or like we have to wait and see what the auto loader or what type of auto loader it is going to be uh, but uh, definitely it had an auto loader planned at least in the wooden mock-up because you're going to hear that soon uh, so Cobra's hull would be rather simple has uh, or as the base was uh, from the combat medium tank but modified powered by the meteorite engine with close to 500 horsepower giving it uh, the potential of 43 kilometers per hour moving forward and 14 moving backwards various types of uh, armor were considered but in the end it was designed with a 120 millimeter at 60 degrees of an angle uh, offering 240 millimeters of effective armor so all of this is uh, like uh, from, I guess, from historical values of uh, Wargaming. If it is going to end up in tier 8, they definitely have to balance it for a tier 8. The rear taking plates were uh, taken from Centurion tank with 20 millimeters of armor thickness. The vehicle weight would have been 32 tons and giving it 15.4 powered weight ratio. The Cobra did reach the states of a wooden mock-up, but it was ultimately cancelled due to not able to operate on con contaminated ground ladies and gentlemen this is what we can tell about uh, cobra currently some historical information some ticked up information about this tank and uh, most interesting of course is the armor layout and the gun of course we'll see how many rounds are going to be in the auto loading um, magazine but uh, auto loading bridges Medium tank sounds intriguing enough to me. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know, please let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And if you want to learn more about that, links are in the description. Because we are already jumping into the next topic, and this is Battle Pass Season 3, which goes into the Super Test. It introduces one new feature, new mechanic, uh, which uh, lets you pick a bounty equipment that you actually want. As you can see, Season 3 revolves around the new equipment system, which is why we have included standard equipment in the rewards, but more importantly, we have added new bounty equipment to the rewards as well. On the top of that, you will be able to select the equipment item you want to receive, which means that in Season 3, you will get the equipment you really need. <clears throat> we also sprinkled some extra team mounting kits into the rewards pool, so that you can experience with different equipment uh, configurations more freely. This is very awesome because I really do not need more bounty gun laying drives. I would like to get uh, one extra uh, bounty ventilation, for example. And secondly, one very interesting thing what many people didn't see is this unit over here. This is a brand new equipment unit for uh, bounty equipment selection as well. Uh, this is improved rotation or bounty rotation bounty improved rotation mechanism or however i have to say that uh, which basically boosts your mobility your gun uh, sorry hull traverse speed uh, and uh, gun handling at the same time it is actually one of my favorite equipment units to use it's quite a nice all arounder and uh, by the way we have not forgotten about the players who are taking their first steps in world of tanks and haven't acquired many tier 6 to tier 10 vehicles yet since we want to help them to figure out the uh, event me mechanics uh, commanders who do not have enough vehicles to cover the first 10 main progression stages may rent three tier 7 vehicles for free to earn progression points okay this is going to help out some new players seems like it 
Uh, moving on, new customization items. So the special vehicles in the Season 3 are going to be 1-2 Legends. I was super excited about that in my previous episode when I first announced it. T110 E5, Tier 10 American Heavy Tank and IS-4 both are going to be uh, fighting versus each other basically uh, in the story mode, in the lore. And uh, those vehicles also receive special styles. For example, E5's special style is called Condor and as you can see quite a messy one once again a lot of extra bits and pieces on it it is a 3d style it is a special 3d style uh, but uh, it is not a bad looking vehicle at first I was looking like under this angle I was looking at uh, uh, this vehicle and I thought it is a T30 so it hides uh, some stuff quite nicely I would say so but it doesn't hide weak spot uh, luckily actually because I really don't like styles which uh, affect your vehicle's survivability indirectly. For example, M48 Patton's uh, um, Season 2 style hides your commander hatch. It uh, indirectly actually improves your survivability, especially versus new players who do not see the commander hatch, you do, who do not know that commander hatch is hiding behind some objects which do not have any armor values. <clears throat> And now this is the style for the IS-40, Triton style. Uh, once again, uh, very, very uh, bits and pieces heavy style. But I would say I like this more than the E5 style. To be honest uh, with you, it looks a bit more clean and uh, a bit more, I don't know. I don't know how to describe <laughs> this picture though. I don't know how to describe it, uh, but uh, it looks pretty nice. It looks very nice, because it looks a bit more clean than this one. This one is like uh, a family vacation, you know. You you throw everything into the car and you go into the uh, vacation or little road trip with your family. This seems to be a road trip camo and this seems to be more like a action camo, uh, you know. And here are the two special commanders as well. Uh, before, once again, ladies and gentlemen, all the time I'm uh, saying that before you choose your commander, just think about which nation needs uh, that extra commander. Because uh, once again, American and um, Soviet tank uh, is over here. Where are our German battle bass uh, special commanders, for example? I would like to get some more German commanders. I already have an um, American one, uh, because those commanders are always nation locked or so far have been nation locked i'm going to check it out with those commanders as well when the test server comes out uh, uh, for example but uh, so far you know we had uh, at the moment we have the czechoslovakian dvp and m48 in this season uh, two battle bass and both commanders are either american locked commanders or czech locked commanders so before you are picking your commander, uh, make sure uh, you are going to uh, pick a commander which nation needs more commanders, what I'm trying to say. Uh, some more 2D styles as well. This is the Marines style. Lady Love. Okay. On E3. E yes, E3. Anything looks good on E3 because E3 is just such a sexy looking tank. Here's the more action, 705A. Beautiful. Some emblems and stuff like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, Battle Pass Season 3. How exactly the reward tree is going to look like? What are we able to get? Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? All of that, hopefully, we can cover uh, in one of the upcoming test server episodes when we are actually able to test it out, when we'll see what they offer. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this was my today's episode. I tried to cover, I tried to cover those topics as quickly as possible. I tried to be as information packed as possible. I hope I succeeded. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you do not want to miss any episodes, any future episodes, any episodes about some gameplay, some news episodes, you know what to do, subscribe button is for that, if you enjoy our stuff over here, like button, if not, dislike button, for free, click them, and leave a comment. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for your time, stay awesome, stay sexy, take care, and bye.